And now, I'm sure you're all interested in the results of our class selection. The votes have all been counted, and the new president of our senior class is Ray Medford. Hey, Ed, I appreciate this honor you've given me, and I only hope I can do as well. Say, that Ray Medford sure is a swell guy. I'll say. Just look at all the things he's done. And you can rest assured I'll do my best to be a good president of the finest class Lincoln High has ever had. Congratulations, Ray. Thanks a lot, Dick. I'm sorry, you both couldn't have been elected. Oh, that's all right. If you need any help on special committees or anything, just give me a call. Sure will, Dick. There goes what I call a good loser. At the start of his senior year, we all knew Ray Medford as an excellent student and a swell fellow. I'm the debate coach here at Lincoln High, and I regarded Ray as a fine speaker. He had won the extemporaneous speaking contest at both the district and state meets for the past two years. Ray was confident. Sometimes even a little cocky, because Ray knew how to win. Hi. Hi, Hi Steve. Well, Ray. Yes? Would you come over here for a minute, please? Okay, Mr. Murray. I'll be back in a minute. Ray, I'd like to have you meet Marilyn Jackson. Hi, Marilyn. Hello. Perhaps you remember Marilyn from the tryouts last week, Ray. Sure. I thought she looked familiar. We're going to use Marilyn in extemporaneous speaking this year, Ray to sort of break her in to take your place next year. Oh, had me worried there for a minute, Coach. I thought maybe I'd lost my place on the team. Oh, no, I could What I'd like to have you do, Ray, is to help Coach Marilyn this year. I don't have time to give her all the help she needs, and if you could work with her... Sure, I'll do anything I can to help. That'd be swell. Well, uh, go to it, kids, and if you need any help, Ray, let me know. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Murray. Have you had much experience in public speaking, Marilyn? No, I haven't. This is just my first try. But I've heard you the last two years when you won the state championship for us, and you were just grand. I was just lucky. But let's see what we can do to help you. Now, if, now first, if you go over there and... Uh... Ray worked hard with Marilyn. He helped her find suitable material for practice. He pointed out the flaws in her delivery suggested ways for her to improve, and, most important, Ray was patient and understanding. Oh, Ray, I'm so sorry I'm so slow to catch on. I bet Mr. Murray won't even take me along for the trips. But it sure is nice of you to help me this way. Look, you're doing fine. Remember now, act natural. All right, let's try it again. Ray and Marilyn both worked hard at the job of getting Marilyn ready for competition. And as time went by, Marilyn improved steadily, with Ray always helping, always encouraging, always urging her to do better. Then came the big day of the district tournament at Lincoln High. This tournament's just kind of like old times, you wouldn't it, Ray? Boy, I don't know. Looks like pretty rough competition this year. How about you, Marilyn? You ready to knock them dead? Scared as I am. I doubt if I'll even be able to stand up. And you know what? What? I keep thinking. What if I start to speak and no sound comes out? <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. You just do what I told you and you'll come out all right. All right, Coach. But I doubt if I get very far in such high-level competition as this. You wait and see. Let's go. Our team had done remarkably well in the morning. And feelings were running high when the extemporaneous speaking contest came up in the afternoon. When his turn came, 
Ray, as always, was sure of himself and spoke in the crisp, smooth manner that always brought approving smiles to the faces of the judges. Ray was carrying the banner of Lincoln High to another championship. Marilyn was the last speaker. At first, she had a bad case of stage fright and seemed a little shy. But once she got started, she began to appear natural and warm. The more she talked, the more confident she became. Marilyn was doing all right. And the judges? Well, Marilyn had impressed them too. After their conference, in which they weighed the merits of the contestants, the judges announced the results. Third place in the extemporaneous speaking contest goes to Mr. Frank Hobson. Second place winner is Mr. Ray Medford. First place in the extemporaneous speaking contest goes to Miss Marilyn Jackson. Gosh, Ray, I'm sorry. I don't know why they picked me, but I want you to know that I realized that it was your health that made it possible for me to win. Yeah, sure. Marilyn had won fair and square. But when she saw the resentment in Ray's eyes, I'm sure she would rather have lost. As for Ray, well, losing was a new experience for him. And I wasn't quite sure just how it would affect him. Hi, Ray. Well, how's the champ? Dad, I didn't... Lincoln didn't have much competition this year, eh? But, Dad, I... Yes, sir. As I was telling the boys down at the office today, I said, he's won two years in a row, and he's a cinch to win a third. Dad, I didn't win. You what? I lost. Why, son, you've won the district title for the last two years straight. What happened? Did the judge... Marilyn Jackson won. You mean the girl you've been coaching? Well, well. Marilyn Jackson, eh? Yeah, well, what do you know about that? Hello, Ray. How'd it go? He lost. Oh, well. Well, half lose sometime. You've had your share of winning. He lost to Marilyn Jackson. She's a little girl Ray's been getting ready to take his place. Looks to me like she got ready a little too soon, son. Frank, you shouldn't tease him about it. Yeah, it's all right, Mary. He knows I was only kidding him. Well, he's got to lose once in a while. He seemed to be taking it pretty hard. Well, it doesn't mean a thing. Ray's always been a good winner, and he'll be a good loser, too. I hope so. Wasn't that a wonderful speech Marilyn gave you? Yes, and did you see that look on Ray's face when she got that trophy? That was so fun. Hi, Chuck. Hi, Chuck. Hi, girl. Say, Marilyn, you really surprised us. Why, now that you're district champ, your first year, why, who knows? You might be able to go ahead and win a state title for three years like Ray tried to do. Say, Marilyn, I bet you won't. Well, I don't think I Well, why not? You beat Ray, didn't you? We didn't figure you could do that either. Say, Marilyn, how did Ray take it? Oh, fine, I guess. But look, you know I couldn't have won if Ray hadn't helped me. Shh, here he comes. Hi, Ray. Hi, Hi, Hi Ray. Ray. Say, Ray, how about coaching me for the exhibition meet next week? Don't do it, Ray. You just can't trust these women. To learn all your techniques and then beat at your own game, just like Marilyn did. Champ the chump in ten easy lessons. Why don't you all shut up? Forgive him. He likes praises when he wins, but getting the little kidding when he loses. And well, we're supposed to shut up. 
Oh, I don't think you should tease him about it. Well, why not? He's not any different from anyone else, is he? Well, no, but he feels bad and he lost So it. what? He's won lots of times. Maybe that's his trouble. He's so used to being a winner. He's never learned how to be a good loser. Well, I never expected Ray to be that kind of a character. Well, you know what? Yeah. Ray, I'm sorry I got you into all this. I'll bet you are. Really, I didn't have the slightest idea I'd win. You'll always be the best as far as I'm concerned. Is that why you smiled at the judges the way you did? Played me for a sucker all along. That old business of being so afraid. Poor helpless little girl. Didn't know a thing about speaking. Oh, what a laugh. Ray, I didn't. I... Oh, what's the use? Marilyn, I'm sorry. I... Ray, will you come here a minute, please? I'd like to talk to you about plans for the state contest next month, Ray. Hey there, Mr. Murray. I'm not going to be on the team anymore. Do you have a reason? Not interested, that's all. Ray, you don't like being second best very well, do you? What do you mean? I mean that since you didn't win first place for once, you've decided that if you can't be best, you won't be anything. I don't think I know how much winning the contest meant to you, Ray. And I know that you feel Marilyn has in some way betrayed you. And I know that you've been taking quite a bit of ribbing from some of your friends. But we're a team, Ray. And as a team, we win or lose together. Marilyn's first and your second place gave us the tournament. We're district champions again, Ray, largely due to your speech and your work with Marilyn. Ray, think this thing over. Think how Dick reacted after you beat him in the student council elections. Think, Ray. You can win a lot of respect and inner strength by becoming a good loser. Well, it's up to Ray now. He can still change his attitude. But being a good winner make it hard to be a good loser? Would Ray have been a better loser if his family and friends hadn't kidded him about his loss? Will Ray ever be able to be a graceful loser? How would you have acted if you had been Ray? What do you think?